So you've installed Windows 8 and you're having that panicky moment where you can't figure out where anything is and you're wondering why you even upgraded in the first place and ah, uh, never fear. It's actually pretty easy to get around once you figure it out. So let's start with the start screen. This is the screen you'll see when you first log in. Think of this as the same old start menu but laid out in informative tiles. You can swipe or scroll to move horizontally through the screen but I don't have enough apps for that yet. And just click on tiles to launch the app you want. Most of the apps that come with it are full screen, tablet optimized apps, though you can download regular desktop apps from the App Store as well as through your browser as you usually do. Tap the Windows key to go back to the start screen at any time. You can reorganize your tiles just like you would on any other touch device. Click, hold, and drag. You can right click on them or swipe down from the top of the tile to bring up other options like uninstalling. Next, let's look at the Charms panel. To get to the Charms panel, swipe from the right edge of the screen, or move your mouse to one of the hot corners, or just hit Windows C. From here, you can share things from whatever app you're in, manage your plugged in devices, and more. If you click Settings, you can adjust settings for your start screen, tweak the volume, shut down your computer, and things like that. Note that if you're on the desktop and you open up the Charms panel, you'll get some different options on that settings screen. You'll be able to access all that junk from your old start menu, like control panel, PC info, and, and stuff that you're now missing. It seems kind of buried, but it actually just takes a few keystrokes to get there, so it isn't really hard once you get used to it. Lastly, you can switch between your open apps by using the familiar Windows tab or Alt tab shortcuts. You can also move your mouse to the left corner of the screen. If you have two apps open and want to view them at the same time, just swipe down, drag one of those apps to the edge of your screen, and you'll be able to multitask. You can run it side by side with any of your other apps, including the desktop. All right, speaking of the desktop, let's talk about how the desktop works. To get back to the desktop, click the desktop tile or press Windows D. The desktop is there just like you remembered it and works in pretty much the same way. You can launch apps from the taskbar, but there isn't a start menu. So to launch an app you don't have in your taskbar, just go back to that start screen and click on the app you want. If it's a desktop app, it'll shoot you back to the desktop. You can also open up the start screen and just start typing the name of the app you want, just like you used to be able to do. Now again, remember you can launch the charms bar from the desktop in the same way you can from the start screen, giving you quick access to the control panel and shutdown options and things like that. But you can also press Windows X to bring up a menu of more advanced options like disk management, command prompt, things like that. Handy. The rest of your desktop is the same. You've got your system tray, you've got your open windows. It's really not that different from Windows 7. When it's time to shut down, hit Windows C to open up that charms bar and go to the shutdown panel. If you just want to log out, go back to the start screen, click on your username, and you can sign out from there. Now that you're a little more familiar with the interface, just go and play around with it. You'll get the hang of it quicker than you think, and while it certainly has a few quirks, you should be able to find your way around with just a little bit of use. Check out the article below for a full run through of these tips and tricks, plus a cheat sheet of keyboard and touch shortcuts to help you get around.